Florida investors. Want to know something crazy? I think some of you would do better buying vacation rentals in Cleveland than Florida. <laughs> I know you're like, what, dude? That doesn't make sense. We're in Florida. Where do people go to vacation? Florida or Cleveland, right? That's what you're thinking. I get it. But, folks, believe it or not, a lot of people vacation in Cleveland in the rental property market, uh, doing short-term rentals, rather, in Cleveland is actually incredibly strong. And guess what? Not only is it strong, it's not as strong as Florida, I'll give you that, but it's strong. But you make up for that with lower prices, brand new construction, and guess what? The government in Cleveland is giving people like you, out-of-state investors, money to buy these short-term rental investments. That, folks, is why I think it makes sense. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is my brainchild, Holton Wise TV. We are all things real estate investing. A lot of it is focused on the Cleveland market because that's where we're uh, headquartered, right? We are from Cleveland, Ohio. But what I like to do is provide people like you insight into the real estate business, the good, the bad, the ugly, right? If you don't believe me on the ugly thing, because I'm, you know, obviously incredibly handsome and dashing, check out the Tennis from Hell show. I have some incredibly incredibly shocking content there, right? You might be thinking, like, is this dude trying to sell something? Because he just made me never want to invest in real estate ever again. That's the point. That's the point of that show, right? It's to show you guys the worst of the worst. And some of you, you might be like, whoa, dude, real estate, not for me, and you'll never invest in real estate. Good. I'm glad. I hope that I can help you make that decision before you potentially lose hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? So that's what we do here. Right. I think what we provide is an educational service, an entertainment service for people nationwide. And it works in every market. But if you want to go further, you want to partner with me and my team to actually do real live deals, you could do so in the Cleveland market. And that's what my investor client today, Jose, is doing. Jose is from Florida and he wants to buy short term rentals, but he's doing it in Cleveland. Now, I know that sounds crazy. Right. I already talked about that at the top. It sounds crazy. But folks, for every pro, there's a con. For every give, there's a take. Right. If you want to get a beachfront property in Miami, yeah, people are going to pay a lot more money to rent that on a nightly basis than one in Cleveland. But you're also going to pay through the nose, right? So what if you can't afford that? What if you're just a regular Joe? You can't afford a $5 million property in Miami, right? So you can come to Cleveland, get very, very cheap properties, and still get your business going. In addition, when you're looking at certain areas that have governments that are trying to uh, to gain appreciation, gain some momentum, gain some gentrification, you could really take advantage of some uh, some good deals out there, right? So like right now, I have a property where the government is giving away over $100,000 for you guys to buy this property. It is very rare investors, especially out-of-state investors, are able to get government incentives to do real estate deals. Today, we are going to go over one of those right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the property, right? This one. This is a beauty, right? This is a beauty, okay? You talk about Cleveland on a national scale, right? They talk about the resurgence of Cleveland, right? When people are Googling Cleveland, they're talking about the hot neighborhoods, right? Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Tremont, right? Gordon Square, right? We're right in the center of all that. And this thing is beautiful, dude. It was built last year. Uh, somebody bought it. They lived in it for a year. As you can see, all this furniture and stuff, this is still theirs. Hell, it's actually quite nice furniture. And I have the numbers written up on this analysis where we would buy 
uh, buy furnishings, right? Because we're trying to furnish these things to make them Airbnb. But honestly, these people have really nice stuff and it all looks new. It almost looks like it's professionally staged. I mean, we might be able to increase your cash on cash return higher than what I have on the chart that I'm going to present to you shortly uh, and just ask these folks uh, if they'll just include everything, right? I mean, everything they got looks pretty good. I mean, you seriously just clean this thing up, get rid of the uh, the closet, the clothes and stuff in the closet, and, you know, it's looking quite nice, right? This thing is it's a good property, right? The address is 1833 West 57th Street, Cleveland, 44102. Again, right there in the heart of all the action, right? And as far as rents go, we'd be averaging 375 a night right so if you were renting it every day at that rate that's almost 140k for the year but let's not get crazy people this is the airbnb it's a short-term rental you ain't renting 100 percent of the time definitely not in the cleveland market now if you're in the cleveland market uh there's like varying uh, like targets, right? Like I like uh, cities like Vermilion on the far, far, far west side. I like places like Menor on the lake on the far, far east side, right? Those are two nice areas that have big draws. You got the islands, you got Cedar Point, you got boating, all that jazz, right? But what about uh, in the winter time, right? So like these close to downtown inner city ones in these hopping areas, these are nice, right? These can help uh, balance out your your downtime in the winter, right? Because this ain't Miami, Florida, folks, right? We don't have palm trees except for on my shirt. By the way, if you like my shirt, HWTV10 is the promo code if you're interested in buying it. Get yourself 10% off with that promo code, okay? But back to this, right? So if you're looking to kind of balance out your vacancy, right, kind of keep uh, the vacancy down as low as possible in the winter, you get these inner city ones, right? Because then you're close to all uh, of the three major sports teams, right? You're close to the casino. You're close to the hard rock. You're close to all the stuff down there, right? So with all that said, I believe we'll be able to average out for the year with this thing about 62% occupancy, right? So using our monthly uh, rental amount, when our yearly rental amount, we're going to factor in a 38% vacancy as well as all the other fees uh, estimated and anticipated, and it should really net out to about a true profit of a 55711 Definitely not 140 but still quite nice. Now, here's the cool thing. If you look there at the taxes, 896 okay? That's the key. That's what's so great, right? The reason that you hear about those areas, Ohio City, Tremont, Detroit, Shoreway, Gordon Square, being so popping, so exciting, is because there's institutional money coming in. We have huge institutions like Metro Health investing billions of dollars. In addition, the city themselves is putting their money where their mouth is. They want these areas to be good. They want new construction in these areas. So they're offering 15-year tax abatements, right? This one has a tax abatement. Uh, the other owner got it, but it's a 15-year abatement, right? So it's still good. I believe it was like 2035, 2036, something like that, right? So the property tax rate in Cleveland, folks, 2.79%, right? I believe you need to pay 395000 for this, right? So if you were doing your taxes, right, 395000 times 2.79%. That means your property taxes on this property should be $11,000 a year. You only have to pay eight ninety six dollars because you do not have to pay taxes on the building. You're just paying taxes on the dirt, okay? So that's eleven grand a year, right? So they're giving you well over $125,000 in tax abatements left on this property, right? And then in this, I factored in $25,000 of furnishings, right? Because obviously we have to furnish it. But again... These are people that have lived there for a year. They're now moving out. We may, if you want, uh, try to negotiate where they leave all their items, and you can keep your cash on cash return even higher. If they don't do it, though, I believe we're looking at a total investment of four fifteen. Right? You kick in a total of one hundred twenty three out of your pocket. Right? That's ninety eight seven fifty for your down payment, and then my twenty five k budget for your furnishings. That should net out to a 33% cash-on-cash return. And you're in a nice, solid, appreciating area, right? This is where all the gentrification in Cleveland happens, right? So my thing with these properties, you ride these things out as short-term rentals until you get to the end of that tax abatement, and then you sell. Can't guarantee it, but I assume at a premium compared to what you paid for it. Why? 
because what areas are going to appreciate the most? Areas where we're seeing even more gentrification. And the city is giving developers, giving investors, giving people 15-year credits, right? 11 grand a year, right? 15 years, right? $11,000, okay? 11,000, add an extra zero in there, times 15. They're giving people like you $165,000 to come into these neighborhoods, take 100-year-old homes, tear them down, build beautiful new ones, right? What do you think happens to the values in this neighborhood as all the old stock gets destroyed and brand new beautiful stock keeps coming in, right? So this is the perfect play for somebody trying to hold the property 5, 10, 15 years and then resell for a premium, right? So when people say you can't get cash flow and appre uh, appreciation at the same time, I think they're wrong. Now, of course, I don't have a crystal ball, right? Could be wrong, but again, I got to look at factors, right? The factors are they're giving all this money away. So we make a ton of cash flow, maximize the cash flow at the short-term rentals right now. The city take advantage of the government giving away all this money because they're trying to force, appreciate, force, gentrify these neighborhoods. I think any way you slice it, it is a solid deal. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.